Yo, I'm a fucking homosexual. What? I have learned more from posting every day than I have in 17 years of school. So what's going on, guys? If you guys didn't know, recently I did a thing of 14 days of nerd period. I mean, how wouldn't you know? I kind of posted every day for 14 days and i did just recently make a whole playlist with all the 14 days of nerd period videos if you want to go back and watch them or in case you missed one and surprisingly but not surprisingly i learned a lot from posting every day so let me tell you what i learned so the first thing that i learned is how to make a good schedule coming into 14 days of nerd period i knew that i wanted to get a video out at 6 p.m every day so I made a really good schedule around that. I decided that I would record a video at night, right? And after I got the video recorded, I would cut up all the parts, make sure resample is disabled, and fully edit the intro of the video. After that, I would go to bed, and when I wake up in the morning, I would eat breakfast and then start making a thumbnail. The reason why I start making a thumbnail first is because taking a thumb making a thumbnail takes a lot out of you, and it takes a lot of creativity creativity so i knew that i wanted to use up a lot of my creativity for a thumbnail first before i edited the rest of the video and then of course after the thumbnail i would edit the rest of the video and have it privately uploaded by 3 p.m every day leaving myself three hours of to do whatever i want before i post the video this schedule really freaking worked the second thing i learned is making videos is not hard when you get used to posting every day for such a long period of time you go back to like your normal posting schedule which mine was every three days but now i'm doing every other day the thing i realized is wow this is not freaking hard at all the third thing i learned is not making excuses at the end of the day the limiting factor of being able to make a video is whether you have an idea or not well, this needs to stop being used as an excuse because when I went into 14 days of nerd period, I only had two ideas in mind and that was the revolver only video and the covering the patch 9.30 video. The rest of those days, each and every one, the idea was created every single day. So please, if you want to become a better YouTuber, stop making excuses for yourself because it's dumb and it's only hurting you. It's hurting nobody else. And the fourth thing I learned is don't take videos doing bad personal every youtuber is gonna take it personal after they just spent two hours recording and seven hours of editing if they post a video and it doesn't do well it's just it's just natural it's a part of our nature but trying our best not to take it personal will end up having a better result for us and result in less burnout too let's admit if posted like three videos in a row and they all did bad yeah we're gonna get a little burnt out of youtube because we're not getting the same excitement well, you really have to learn to appreciate anything that you get and realize that not all things are going to be good. My 10th video during 14 days of nerd period, I did a new kind of video where I tried out a new game and it did horrible. And instead of getting bummed out about the video doing bad and like, oh man, I, I don't want to do this challenge anymore. I was like, okay, here's what I did wrong. First of all, this game, nobody's heard of it. Second of all, nobody plays it. Third of all, nobody's interested in it. If a video does bad, it is not your fault. So you need to just not take it so seriously. And last but not least, don't give up. So by the time I was on my third video of 14 days in nerd period, I had probably the worst encounter ever. I ended up recording the revolver only challenge video for three plus hours, which it was supposed to only take around one. And I got no good gameplay at all. But me sitting there was like, I'm not going to just not post my the third day of this challenge. So I went through with editing it and I don't know why, but this video took over six hours to edit. It was the worst mess ever. I was so discouraged making this video. And then when it got posted a few minutes later, my man Spencer commented on the video. And this made me realize, man, if I gave up earlier on editing this video, 
Spencer wouldn't have been able to comment on that video. So kept on having feelings of giving up during this whole challenge, but I never did because if what if I didn't upload this video that's gonna come out perfectly fine? Something like that you could have missed out on. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and could find it useful. Um, so yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and use code NerdPerior in the Fortnite item shop. Thank you guys and peace.